ABC 13 Eyewitness News starts now. Thanks for staying with us. Today, we got a look at the long-awaited review of those hundreds of thousands of cases pushed aside by the Houston Police Department. This personnel panel made up of former and current state and city officials and leaders was assembled in early March and has met almost weekly. Today, they presented a nearly 100 page document detailing what went wrong and how they think it should be fixed. Our Liliana Pearson joins us now after following the story all year long. And Liliana, what was the result of the report? Well, the report pretty much goes on to tell us how they think that all these things could come together and make sure that this never happens again. So the panel's 17 recommendations is telling the department it needs better case management, communication and training. The mayor saying today after months of analyzing the past this report it's about looking forward but he gave no clear answers on how that would actually happen the report finds through additional training technology and staffing the issue of suspended cases could be fixed but one major roadblock stands in the way all of that costs a lot of money the city doesn't have this one will not collect us it will sit on my desk and these council members desk we already have council members after Saturday very fired up about finding those resources. The report highlights a need for training, saying oftentimes people are promoted into positions they have no experience with and given no guidance on how to do the job well. The panel says that is one of the big reasons we ended up here. It's not just the hiring of 10 new officers. It's got to be the accurate training of them so we could say they know what they're doing. The report says divisions are operating with little to no no communication between them, exacerbating the problem. In the report, it shows which divisions were abusing the SL code the most. Major assaults and family violence coming out far ahead with over 100,000 suspended cases in seven years. Meanwhile, the Clear Lake Division only used it once. Had these departments shared their standard operating procedures, could leaders have been made aware of this backlog? The divisions are kind of self operations we want a chief and commanders that bring the department together and the mayor says now is the time to move forward but we know the most important thing here are the tens of thousands of victims impacted in this we also know that this is going to impact people moving forward former acting chief Sarah White told us just a few weeks ago that understaffing and lack of resources means some property crimes are going to go uninvestigated well Leanna, we know that there are 17 recommendations laid out in this report but what's being done to make sure that those recommendations are actually put in place Place. I asked the mayor that today and he says that he doesn't really have a plan as of right now. I asked him is a third party going to be put in place to keep track of all these recommendations and he said no. He also says that he doesn't like working on timelines when I asked mm. if there was going to be a timeline for all of this. So for now it's really blind trust that everybody's going on. Gotcha. Another question. Does this report mark the end of the SL code scandal? No, it certainly does not mark the end of that code. Right now police are still reviewing suspended cases. And as command has changed hands, we're also receiving fewer and fewer updates on that front. Last we heard, they ha there have been 1,100 felonies and 63 misdemeanor charges pressed from that quarter million uh, suspended cases. Certainly a lot of work left to go. Indeed, and thank you for being thorough and staying on top of this for us. Thank you.